prepared to close, so if he uh, wants to use his time, then I will use my time. John I Morgan. Reserve my time. I'll close uh, where I ended my opening remarks. 25 major fires burning in the West, seven in Oregon, six in California, four in Washington, two in Utah, two in Idaho, one in Colorado, and by this time next week, probably twice as many, but next week Congress will be out of session. The agencies will run out of money. They can't stop fighting the fires. So what they will do is they will pull back money that would prevent future intense uh, wildfires from prevention programs. They'll pull back money from recreation programs. They'll pull back money from a host of things that Americans care about and want to have funded just to fight uh, these fires. It's an endless cycle. We need to deal with it. We could have dealt with it here today instead of spending multiple hours on a bill which is going nowhere, which is poorly drafted to the point where anybody who, any city, county, tribe, state, who writes on the back of a napkin can submit that to the agency, and it must be considered the best available science and commercial data, and under the law, the secretary has to use that to make a decision. How the heck is that going to work? You're, you're saying, oh, you're worried about attorney's fees. You are creating a universe for new litigation uh, with this uh, misguided approach. So I wish we would return to a bipartisan uh, addressing of the forest fire issue, because I know there is bipartisan concern on it. There's a bill pending in the House, 54 Republicans, 54 Democrats. We should take that bill up today, tomorrow, or Thursday before we leave town and fund our firefighting efforts. The gentleman's time has expired. The gentleman from Washington is recognized. Mr. Chairman, I understand I have a minute and a quarter remaining. Is that correct? You are correct. I yield myself the